What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Tom Vecchio. Week 9 is here and I'm set to bring you three value plays for this week's DFS slate. Let's jump right in, starting off at wide receiver with Hunter Renfro, $5,600 for the Raiders. Obviously, the big news is that the Raiders released Henry Ruggs. This should open up more opportunity for Hunter Renfro. Not that he needed more because he was already second on the team with 52 targets coming in with a 20% market share. It's a great matchup for him. He's going up against the Giants. They're allowing the eighth most fan points per game to opposing wide receivers, sitting at 33.1. Uh, we also see Renfro tied for the team lead with nine red zone targets, of course, tied with Darren Waller. So we know that we should see a very condensed market share of targets for the Raiders, and that should spell good things for Renfro, who again is only $5,600 in a good matchup. Game was a three and a half point spread in favor of the Raiders with a 46 and a half over under. You know, we should see a bit of sloppy defense on both sides. I'm, I'm expecting it to the over, and thus plenty of fantasy points for Renfro. Moving on, Austin Hooper for the Cleveland Browns he comes in at $4,900. Is very, very affordable. And yes, no Odell Beckham anymore for the Cleveland Browns. They released him on Friday. OBJ had 36 targets that led the team for the Browns. Austin Hooper was second on the team with 30th down, makes him the team leader in targets. We also see him leading the team in red zone targets at sitting at eight, and the next closest player had four. So OBJ being removed now makes Austin Hooper the number one receiving option on the Browns. It's a close match of a two and a half point spread going up against the Cleveland Bengals with a 46, a 47 over under, and it should be a good spot for him to exceed fantasy value considering he's only $4,900. Really a good matchup for him against the Bengals. Finally, another wide receiver, Russell Gage at $5,800. Now, Gage was a full participant in practice on Thursday. He's set to return to the lineup. He's only played three games this season, hasn't been on the field since October 24th, but he should be good to go versus the Saints. Speaking of the Saints, they are six-point home favorites going up against the Falcons, so this should put the Falcons in a positive passing game script. We know that Calvin Ridley is not with the Falcons anymore, so this should put Russell Gage as the new number one receiving option among wide receivers for the Falcons, of course. Kyle Pitts is still there. Uh, we see the Falcons along the fourth most fan of points per game opposing wide receivers sitting at 35.4. So Russell Gage, another wide receiver in a spot to see an expanded role and is sub $6,000. All right, so that does it for the value plays for week nine. I'll be back next week giving you three more. And until next time, good luck in your contest.